What's up YouTube, Jeff back again and today another very exciting Samsung video for you guys. People always ask about my custom icons that I have on my Galaxy S23 Ultra. They wanna know how they can get custom icons of their own. So today I'm gonna to show you guys how you can install custom icon packs on your Galaxy S23 Ultra, not even using a third party launcher. This is using stock Samsung launcher, just using a Samsung application to do it. And we're gonna go through the process and I'll also show you guys some of my favorite icon packs today and uh, tell you about where you can get those icon packs from. So to get started, the first thing you need to do is you need to download Samsung's Good Lock module for Galaxy devices. So go into the Galaxy store, go into search and search for Good Lock. I'll drop the link below too if you want it. Now keep in mind that Good Lock is region locked, which means that it only works in certain regions. You can use a VPN to get it though if it's not supported in your region. Once you download GoodLock, go ahead and open it, and you'll see the very first module on the side called Makeup is called Theme Park. Now, Theme Park is what allows you to do custom icon pack installations without a third-party launcher on your Galaxy device. So go ahead, once you see this little icon over here, you'll be able to go to the store and download it. Obviously, I've already downloaded it myself, but what you'll do is you'll go to the store, you'll download it, and then once you download it, you can go ahead and hit Open. So there's a lot of tabs in Theme Park. It actually does a lot of things, and I'll do some tours of all of these things eventually. But today, we're specifically looking at the tab down here called Icons. So tap on the tab called Icons. When you do that, you'll see a default icon installation, which is the installation that you have for the default Samsung icons that come with your device. Um, those are the icons that come with One UI 5.1 or any version of One UI recently. They've been pretty similar for a long time. To install a new icon pack, what you'll need to do is go to create new. Now, once you tap create new, it's gonna open up and it's going to look for all the icon packs that you have in your library. Now you're gonna need some icon packs in your library first. So what you'll do is go to the Play Store and download some icon packs. Now, my favorite icon packs come from my friend One4 Studio. He makes some of the best ones out there. Uh, right now, his newest icon packs are called Lena icons. They come in a bunch of different colors, like dark mode, light mode, and uh, also just the default pack. And then also Aries, which is the one I actually have installed right now on my home screen. You guys can see right here. This is the regular Aries icon pack, but you can see here in my app drawer, Aries also comes in Arctic, black, dark, and light. And then if we go down to where I have Lena, Lena comes in black, dark, white. Um, and so all of these different variations have different tones. They're useful for different wallpapers, etc. I'll link everything below where you can find his icon packs. I'm going to show you guys a couple of them here with Theme Park in just a second. But before I go back and apply the icon pack itself, I do want to remind you guys, if you've just switched to the Galaxy S23 Ultra, you can also save a lot of money on your wireless by switching to my partners at Mint Mobile. Mint Mobile has premium wireless starting at just 15 bucks a month. And I've showed some of their plans in the past, but they have basically plans for everybody at every data size and price point. They've got a four gig plan starting at $15 a month, 10 gig plan, $20 a month, 15 gig plan, 25 a month, and the unlimited plan, which I think is the best value at $30 a month. All their plans come with unlimited talk and text, nationwide coverage, and you also get mobile hotspot service included with all of their plans as well. It's very simple to switch. Uh, you can get either an eSIM, which of course the Galaxy S23 Ultra does support, or you can also get a physical SIM if you wanna go old school. They'll ship you out a SIM kit. You also get a SIM tool in there, so it makes it very easy to pop it right into your device and get started. I've been using it now in my Galaxy S22 Ultra and now my S23 Ultra for about five months, and I've had fantastic service here in the Phoenix, Arizona metro area. I know a lot of you has great experience with it and have bought them through my link over the last few months. Uh, which I'm really happy to see people enjoying it. Uh, if you have questions about Mint Mobile or you want to sign up, let me know in the comments below. And if you do want to sign up, I currently have a promo where if you use my link, which is mintmobile.com slash Springer, it's up here at the top, also in the pinned comment description, you can get a free case from me. Any free case you want, like an Urban Armor Gear case, any Galaxy S23 Ultra case or other phone case if you don't have an S23 Ultra, all you got to do is sign up for a Mint Mobile three-month plan. I'm sending that out as a thank you for my subscribers. Uh, again, mintmobile.com slash Springer, and I appreciate Mint for being partners with the channel. So let's go back now and go into Theme Park. We're gonna go back into Theme Park, and now I'm gonna show you guys how to actually do the application. 
of the icon pack. So what you do is tap on where it says icon pack, choose a pack. You see all the ones I've got here. I talked about the different ones. This is actually another one from One Four Studio. I'm going to apply the Lena icons here. So let's take a look at the Lena icon pack. It's going to show you a preview of the icons up here. Now this is important. Down here where it has the shape, this is going to be the shape for any icons that are not supported in the icon pack. Every icon pack is going to have some icons that are not fully themed. Of course, my friend One Four Studio, he makes amazing packs. He's always adding new icons. And I'll also show you guys how you can request him to make new icons for the ones that you're missing in just a second. But you want to choose a shape that's pretty close. This one, it's kind of hard, so I'm just going to choose the circle shape for any ones that aren't themed. Then you go to the top, go ahead and hit the download button, and then type in the name. So I'm going to call this Lena. Click OK. It's going to save the theme. It takes a minute for it to save it and install it. And then you're not done quite yet. You've got to go up here to tap on it and then click apply right there. And it's going to go ahead and apply these icons. And those are now the icons that I'll have on my home screen. You can see all of my applications are nicely themed with the Lena icon pack. And so if you scroll through here, you'll see I have a few that are missing like Bang & Olufsen, Cafe Rio, uh, Edge Touch, Ivacy, a couple of my other ones, but most of the icons are themed. I would say 90% of them are themed. Now, if you have some icons that are not fully themed and you buy a pack from my friend One Four Studio, he is amazing about creating icons using custom icon requests. All you have to do is go into the application. So go into Lena, if you bought that icon pack, open it up. It shows you how many icons he added. He just updated this on Valentine's Day, which was just a couple days ago. He's amazing with updates. He updates them all the time. You see it has 2,350 icons. But if you look over here, you'll notice that you can do an icon request. It shows you how many apps I have installed, how many are themed, and how many are missed. So it's about 85% actually that I have that are themed. Now you can go here and you can do a regular icon request. This will take a little bit of time to do it, but you do get 10 free requests. So I could send him, you know, all the ones that I have that aren't themed, at least the first 10 of them, and he'll theme them. It just takes a little time. However, if you want to get them themed like this super quick, you can just pay a few bucks, go up here to buy, and you can request him to make certain icons in a faster turnaround. Now, I love supporting developers, so I have no problem with that option, but the ability to get 10 free icons requested, there's no other developers out there that are really doing it at the same turnaround that he does it at. And you also get 90 really nice wallpapers. Uh, he creates wallpaper packs as well, which I'll link his wallpaper packs below. But you get 90 premium wallpapers included with these icon packs as well. And uh, they're really nice. Some of the wallpapers you get in icon packs aren't that good. But uh, One Four Studio, amazing icons. Again, Theme Park, an amazing tool to install icons without a third-party launcher. All of your icon themes will be saved here. If you ever want to get rid of one, you can just tap on it. So like, if you don't want it anymore, you can edit, you can reapply. One thing I will say is sometimes when you get an update for the icon pack, because most icon packs are made to work with third-party launchers and not theme park, you may have to go in here when you get an update to your icons through the Play Store and hit the reapply button. It only takes like 20 seconds. It's not that long of a process, but it is something to be aware of. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is how you can get some custom icons. I will link all those One Four Studio icons below. Also, remember, if you guys are interested in getting premium wireless from my friends at Mint Mobile, all you got to do is go to my link, which is mintmobile.com slash Springer. You can get a free case. Again, any case that you want. All you got to do is email or DM me on Twitter after you purchase a three-month Mint Mobile plan through my link. I appreciate you guys checking it out. And again, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.